Hi, welcome back to Rise and Sprout. Many of you know that I reversed my rheumatoid arthritis with using food, uh, specifically following Dr. Goldner's healing protocol. But I wanted to make a video today talking about all of the other symptoms and I don't, I don't even know they were problems that I had before that were actually improved, if not reversed, with food. And so I have a huge list here that I'll be referring to. But the first one that I wanted to go over was I used to suffer from Raynaud's. And this is when you have uh, extremities. It can be your feet or your hands, your toes or your fingers are affected where they go numb uh, based on cold things that you're touching. And it can be very painful. They go completely white as if it's dead. And it takes several minutes, if not longer, for the blood flow again to start coming into those extremities where you can move them again and they're not numb. And I used to suffer from this pretty severely, especially in the winter where it would affect all of my fingers, the complete finger on all of my hands and my thumb. And it was the worst in the winter. I would have it during times like washing cold fruits and vegetables from the fridge rinsing them under the cold faucet you know in the winter when the water comes out it's freezing and i would also get this when i would go grocery shopping and getting the cart where the handlebar is cold to hold on to it would go numb um my hands would go numb touching the steering wheel getting in in the car and driving and not only is it painful but it's just really annoying and the feeling is just really disturbing when you can't feel your fingers. Um, anyway, when I switched to whole food plant-based doing the healing protocol, that first November into the December of the winter after I started the protocol, it was improving. And by the January maybe in February of that following year, I was barely even have, having it in the tips of my pinky and my ring finger. It was no longer the entire finger and it wasn't affecting these ones. So I cannot wait for this next winter to come around to see if even that's gone. So that was a huge improvement from what I used to have. Um, another symptom with my rheumatoid arthritis that really improved was fatigue. So I used to have extreme fatigue and it would always hit me mid-afternoon um, I probably shouldn't have even been driving, but there were times that I was driving and it would hit me and I just had to take a nap. Like I had to go home and <clears throat> it would be exhausting, not only physically, but mentally because, you know, my kids are up and, and active during the afternoon. And then here I was needing to take a nap and without fail every day if i didn't take a nap i just couldn't function i was just always so tired and oftentimes it would just hit me out of the blue um, like a ton of bricks that i just had to close my eyes i couldn't keep them open anymore and that's gone so unless i didn't get a good night's sleep or something i don't need a nap in the afternoon i have a lot of energy i sleep really well actually and I wake up alert and ready to go for the day and my body will naturally just wake up after I've had seven hours. So that's been a huge improvement. Uh, along with the fatigue, I used to have brain fog and I would stumble on my words a lot when I would talk to people. I couldn't remember things that were, you know, everything normal in my schedule that would be happening on a consistent basis. I would still forget them. And even though I wrote them down in my calendar, I would still forget them. And it was really frustrating. And I'm not going to say that I never forget anything because I do, but it is not like what it used to be. I don't stumble on my words like I used to or have just pauses where my brain literally cannot move on to the next idea. Um, so that's been a huge improvement. So those were kind of the things that went along with my rheumatoid arthritis, but I have so many other things that have gotten better. So I've always had curly hair since I was a teenager 
And since, since switching to whole food plant-based, my hair texture has actually gotten better. It's softer and my curl pattern has actually gotten stronger. And I actually go to a hairstylist who's a professional diva curl stylist and he even noticed it when he was cutting my hair. He had mentioned, wow, your hair is a lot curlier and even up here where it used to not be as curly, it is. And he noticed it and when I told him what I was doing, he was shocked. So it'll fix your hair. And I even had several sections in the back and along the fronts of new growth that was coming in. So um, if I pulled my hair out, you could see that I have these little baby hairs that are this long now, but they're getting longer of new hair growth that's coming in, um, which is awesome. My skin has improved. I used to really suffer from acne when I was a teenager and even into adulthood. And during around my period, I would get these huge, massive ones on my chin that would be really painful. They were like a cyst underneath there that would never come to a head and just were really, really sore. And I don't suffer from anything like that anymore. Unless I'm not getting enough water, my skin is always clear. And I even actually feel like it's improved, like the fine lines that I've had um, across my forehead and just overall the health of my skin in general is so much better. Um, I work out a lot at the gym and I used to suffer from several, several days of being super sore after a hard workout. My recovery time was like a week. And I would even sometimes be so sore, I'm sure you've had this before, where you can't take stairs, sitting down on a chair or going to the bathroom. It's like nightmare trying to sit down um, because your legs can be so sore after you work out. Well, now that I'm eating whole food plant-based, my recovery time is like nothing. And I'll have a huge intense workout that I can feel like my legs are jello during the workout, which normally would mean several days of pain afterwards. And I maybe have a day. My body heals so quickly, but it also puts on muscle quicker. And I've noticed this also, we have a scale at home that you stand on and it tests uh, your body fat percentage and your muscle percentage and water percentage and all of that. And I know that it's not like the most accurate compared to like if you're doing the pinch test, you know, that you can do with a trainer. But I just always knew what my normal was on the scale. And so now to, co to compare that to what it is now is a huge difference. So on my scale, my BMI used to always be around 24 or 25, and it's at a 20 now. My muscle percentage was always around 41 or 42, and it's 47% now. My fat percentage was always around the same, about 40, actually I can't really remember now off the top of my head what, what the body fat percentage was, but it's down, like significantly down. And I just feel better. And I can, I feel like when I'm working out that I have all this energy. I, I don't feel like I get fatigued. I can do a full class and go full in the whole time. And it's awesome. It feels so good. Like your body just knows what it's doing and how to react to what it's, what your body's doing, what you're asking it to do. Um, I used to have really severe photosensitivity with my eyes. There would never be a time I would be out in the sun where I wouldn't have sunglasses on me because I was just always squinting. It would give me headaches. And even in the car driving, like I always had to have sunglasses and that has improved greatly. I can be out in the sun and I'm not squinting and I'm not so sensitive to the light anymore, which is really nice. Um, the other one is I no longer have any heartburn or indigestion or acid reflux. So every so often I would suffer from acid reflux or I'd have pain in my chest. 
um, with heartburn and things, and that's gone. I don't have any of that. Um, I no longer feel sick or uncomfortable after eating. So I know in the past when I was eating meat and all the processed foods and animal products after a meal, you know, when you're full, you're full to the point of misery and your stomach is just cramping and it's sore and you just don't feel good. Um, I don't have that anymore. I can eat however much I want and I never have any stomach problems. I never have any issues uh, with my gut being upset with me. And that's awesome. Uh, I kind of talked a little bit about the scale. I naturally lost weight doing this because I'm not eating high fat foods. So everything that's high fat is going to be an animal product or oils. So when you're not eating all of that fat, you naturally will lose weight. Um, if you follow Dr. McDougall, his, one of his key slogans is the fat you eat is the fat you wear. So if you're eating foods that are high in fat, which most meat is more than 20% fat, um, then you can carry extra weight. So in the beginning, my weight kind of plummeted because I was doing the Patterson pro pro program. Yeah. And it goes through like a two week kind of fast. Not that you're not eating anything, but it's like the bare minimum. And so I did lose weight there, obviously, and it was expected because I was cutting out all of the meat and dairy and all of that stuff. But then when I started the healing protocol, I lost even a little bit more weight. And I feel like that weight that I lost at that time was just my body purging during the detox and getting rid of all of the muscle, all of the fat that was full of toxins and inflammation. And I was finally giving my body what it needed to heal and repair. So it was building better muscle and um, storage for my body. So Dr. Goldner always says your healthy weight is when you're healthy. So don't go off of the scale, go off of how you feel. And so I just trusted her um, advice and just kept following the protocol. And eventually about six months after doing the protocol, my body weight just evened out and it stays there the same. It hasn't ever changed and I eat whatever I want that's whole food plant-based and I never gain weight or lose weight. It's just always the same. So I feel like I've now reached my healthy weight because I'm healthy. Um, another thing that I used to suffer from was allergies and my allergies here in Texas were really bad for me in the winter, go figure. And I actually don't really have any issues with that. I didn't have to take any allergy medication this last winter and I didn't really have any breathing problems or issues at all during the winter with the allergies. I do every once in a while get some burning in my eyes and some itchiness in my eyes, but it's nothing that doesn't go away within a couple of hours. It doesn't last for days like it used to, and I don't have to take any of the allergy medication for that. So that's been really nice that I don't have to worry about that anymore. Two things, at, I saved it for the very end in case now you don't want to listen, but let's talk bowel movements, okay? I used to think that I was regular because I would have a bowel movement every day, but if you follow Dr. Greger, uh, he gives you this test, and I haven't actually done this test because I'm pretty regular now, but if you eat a lot of beets, wait until you see when that comes through. Okay, it's going to be bright pink, right? And that will tell you how regular your body is. So even though you think you're regular because you're going every day, if you do that beat test and it takes two days for that to come through or even more, then you are not regular. So your body should be processing its food within 24 hours. And once I started the healing protocol, um, the smoothies did just that. They made me very regular. So I go a couple of times, if not three times every day. And that is showing me that my body is processing food as I eat it. It is regularly from the mouth, 
cleansing my body and going out. And that is what you should be doing. Your body should be processing its food and not holding on to it. And it should be easy to pass. It shouldn't be difficult. So you can even look up the Bristol stool um, diagram or whatever, and it will show you where you're supposed to be and what it's supposed to look like if you even want to look that up. But it's pretty fascinating. Um, your body should be definitely having looser bowel movements than what the typical people have. Um, a lot of people are constipated. So that's a definite indication that you are not getting enough water and fiber in your diet. And the last one is my menstrual cycle. So that has improved immensely. I used to have severe uh, PMS symptoms before my period. I would break out, like I said. I would have um, severe cramping and a lot of times the cramping would inhibit on my activities and things that I could do. And I also had very, very heavy periods that were a lot, a lot of times irregular. And since I've switched to whole food plant-based, my periods are like clockwork. They come on regularly, same time every month, and I no longer have the cramping anymore. I may have um, some mild uh, discomfort the first day, but that's it. And my bleeding has completely changed. It used to go from like seven to eight days, really, really heavy. Um, and now it's barely even heavy the first two days and then it's so light the rest of the time. And I'm sure everybody is different, but in the past, my period would always just start heavy from the get-go. And it was annoying because when they weren't like clockwork, you know, I was guessing and hoping that I would, you know, be prepared if that happened. And now I literally have a day of just light brown spotting the day before. And then the next day my period starts. So my body gives me a warning now, which is awesome. So anyway, these are just the few. I'm sure there's so many other things that I could talk about. My teeth have even gotten whiter since I've been eating this way. And I wasn't a coffee drinker, I don't smoke or drink or anything, but my teeth are whiter. Um, and so those are just some of the, the many things that have improved, if not gotten better, since I've switched the way that I eat. And it's awesome. Food is medicine. And we really, really need to take advantage of what it can offer us. And get away from the foods that are making us sick. Okay, there's just way too much food that we're eating that doesn't benefit us. So I always had up on my fridge quotes in the beginning to help me stay focused and not give up. And one of them was, the food that you eat can either feed disease or fight it. And so I choose every day to fight disease because I refuse to go backwards. I refuse to go back to where I was and be in all of that pain and misery and depression. So I'm done with it. And I hope that you guys will give it a go. If you've been thinking about it or if you're on the fence, your life will change for the better. And I'll talk to you later.